the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm so happy to have you on my channel today for my 2022 Christmas clean and decorate with me. As you can see, I have already some decorations up. Um, yeah, because I actually realized that I've never filmed an intro for this video, but it doesn't matter because I'm still as excited as I was two days ago when I started the decorating process. So yeah, for me, it is really the most wonderful and magical time of the year and i hope to spread some joy throughout this video to you guys all out there um with no further ado let's jump right into the cleaning and decorating motivation and inspiration please enjoy Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain. So actually one of my favorite parts about my Christmas decor is my little Christmas village. Um it is really not that much, but I really like it and I collected a few things over the years and then sometimes I just buy a few new things. Um like this little Santa that I'm just putting on the house um, on top of the house uh, we bought that at a Christmas market like last year yeah last year um, it was like a really big Christmas market and then there was one person selling like all of those village items and I could have bought like everything everything was so beautiful some of the things were pretty expensive, but yeah, we just decided, okay, because we were on a trip and we were not able to pack like so much and yeah, second, it was really expensive. So we only decided for this little center, but it is really cute. So I wanted to take a second to just talk about what you can expect from my channel um, the next weeks, the next month um, throughout the Christmas season. So basically there will be part two of my Christmas clean and decorate. Then there will be a lot of cleaning motivation for the Christmas season for like having guests over, um, hosting different celebrations. So yeah, there will be a lot of motivation. Then I also plan to put up videos with Christmas recipes. I have a few recipes that I absolutely love. Um, and I also want to try out new things as well this year. Then I just plan to do a lot of homemaking, like gift wrapping, gift guides, um, all those things. And just have everything really extra cozy, extra yeah joyful and um to really that you really have the feeling to hang out with me on my channel on my videos so if that interests you i would love to have you on my channel for yeah from now on for um whatever is there to come and especially like for the next weeks with all of the christmas decor and christmas fun and joy yeah Time of year, we come to
So I do not have like specific Christmas toys for Paulina, but I bought a lot of books. Like some of them I already had last year, but the majority of those Christmas books I got this year at TJ Maxx because they had so many good books. I got German books, I got English books and they're all so cute and Paulina loves reading. She loves books. So I see us um, reading those books a lot in the next ma uh, yeah, month, weeks, whatever. Um, so I really was pretty happy about getting all of those books and so I decided to put this in the um, white basket which suited well in my opinion and I just love those baskets for like toys and books it's just really perfect. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, basically, I'm waiting for my Bath and Body Work stuff to come in, and my plan is to put one of those candles um, there, and I feel like this will be the star of the show. So, and then, um, because I obviously have a toddler that is running around and, yeah, would take all of that down, I plan to just put that there whenever she's asleep in the evening, whatever. Um, I know it's not the most practical thing. Or maybe I'm still debating if I'm going to... Yeah, no, I can't keep it there with a candle on it. Like, this plate is not breakable and this horse, like, is also not so breakable. But I wouldn't want all of those little pieces to go all over my living room. And if I add, like, a glass candle, it wouldn't be practical. So my plan is, whenever she's around, I can just grab that plate all in one and put it over here like i have nothing over here and i like it that way but yeah whenever she's around i can just put it up there i can light my candle and she is not able to reach it it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're around everything will be okay cause all i want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment. Okay, so throughout those three decorating days, I went back and forth if I should put up our Christmas tree already. Like sometimes I felt like, okay, I just put it up and put some lights on it and do not decorate it yet because I really want to make the decoration process of the Christmas tree as a family together um, as a cozy tradition and not just I do it my way. That's just not how I like that. And yeah, in the end I decided against it because first it is really not a tradition to put the Christmas tree up that early in Germany, even though it is not traditional to put up the uh, Christmas decor that early as well, but I don't know. Um, and second, I thought, okay, maybe it is just a little bit too early for me to have like all of the stress with Paulina, taking care that she's not going to the Christmas tree. And um, yeah, I don't know what she could do with the Christmas tree. We will see what she's going to do. Um, 
I decided just against it and thought, okay, I would just keep that for a little while. I will let her um, yeah, just be with the Christmas decor that is up now and make sure that she knows that she can't have all of that. Um, get her used to all of the Christmas decor and then put the Christmas tree up later. Maybe we will do that in a vlog together or something like that. So yeah, you can stay tuned for that in the future. Oh, and if you have any tips like how to prevent your toddler to get crazy with your Christmas tree, please let me know all your suggestions and tips in the comments. Okay, now I ended up putting the lantern over here. I tried it at several places, like I've tried it on the stairs, I just tried it out everywhere. I had it outdoors last year, but I decided to put it over here because it really picks up the theme over here with the pillow and the, the car. So that's what I really like about it. Yeah, I did that just on my own, <laughs> I don't know, like three years ago, I feel like. Um, I just sprinkle in some of this thick snow and edit this little ornament it's just a i bought it that way just a car with a tree and then i just added one of those um fake trees little fake trees some lights some twinkle lights added that bow and now yeah that's how it turned out but uh, yeah i had it for years um that way i really like it So as you've seen, I decorated with um, really traditional Christmas colors with like a lot of red, a lot of green, gold. That's just what I prefer, what I feel like looks the most festive, just in my opinion. But I have to say, um, oh, and I love the Christmas tree when it is like with red and gold colors. That's just, I love it. Um, but in part two i'm going to decorate our upstairs part of our home and we do not have traditional colors in there because our wall in our bedroom is blush pink and the wall in paulina's room is turquoise with um um blush pink clouds so i won't decorate with those traditional christmas colors in there because i feel like it just do not suit into the rooms so you will see the other colors in part two so make sure that you put your notifications on that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out when part two is coming out um i hope to have that up on thursday so stay tuned I still have a lot to do upstairs um, and I'm excited to decorate that part of our home as well. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up because this helps out my channel a lot. As you remove that snow, whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you
Okay, so I have to say, Patrick and I did not have the same opinion about the arrangement of the stockings. So in the end, he just did it and I was just um, looking at him, like, I don't know, after he already had two stockings on there. And I was like, well, what are you doing? What kind of arrangement are you doing? Like, I would do it differently. But in the end, I decided to let him do it the way he likes it better. Because to be honest, for the rest of the Christmas decorations, um, I decide most of it. So it is fine with me. And I always did like Patrick, then me, then Paulina, and then Ellie. And he wanted it like his and uh, mine stocking on the outsides and then our little ones in the center of us so yeah we're doing it that way this year which is fine Okay, so right now I'm going to give you a little Bath and Body Works haul. It is a small haul because first, the things are expensive and I don't feel like that for the most people it is realistic to buy like 25 candles. I don't know. It is just an expensive brand. Um, let's be real with that. And I can't afford buying like all of the candles, like absolutely not. Um, so yeah, I just got a few ones and that is something I want to put out there. Just buy like one or maybe two pieces that you really love and then just go with those and do not feel like you have to buy them all. Um, yeah, even though they have such a big variety. But yeah, there will be one maybe that you really love. And second, um, we don't have Bath & Body Works in Germany. So that means I can't go to any store and smell little things. Um, so I'm always a little bit curious. I'm checking like all the reviews, <laughs> things like that um yeah before i buy anything and there is one brand like for everybody who is watching from germany i will put the, the link in the description box there is one website where you can order bath and body Works stuff um in germany but it is even way more expensive to order it in germany than the candles and soaps and everything is in the us so yeah that's the second part why i only did buy a few things I'm starting off with two hand soaps. Um, so the first one is the Fresh Sparkling Snow. I don't think that this packaging is available in the US this year. Um, but it's just something I got from the other brand, like from the other website. Um, but um, yeah, I know that the Fresh Sparkling Snow is available, like the scent is available just in another packaging. It is the fragrance. Uh, Fragrance notes are Icy Melon, Holiday Pier, and Falling Snow. Let's smell that. Oh yeah, you can really smell the melon, I feel like. I do not smell the pier that much, but I really smell the melon. It is a really fresh scent, so I think that works well for the bathroom. And I really like that it is like snowy and wintry and not only Christmassy, so I can just leave it throughout the winter, like January, February. And do not have to switch it as soon as Christmas is over. Yeah. And then I got another one. It is the Frozen Lake. It is Frozen Cypress, Eucalyptus and Juniper Berry. Okay. It is a foaming hand soap actually. Oh yeah. Okay. That really smells like for me that really smells 
good for a hand soap and um, really really fresh in a bathroom that's that's nice um, it's also wintery as you can see uh, I feel like it kind of have a masculine tone but yeah this is nothing negative to me <laughs> it just is how it is okay then I got one um, room spray it is the it was the night before Christmas room spray and I know that this packaging is available in the US and in Germany like everywhere um, okay where are the fragrance notes I can't find them but I know that it is like um, 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 like cookies and milk it seems to be it smells really Weed, but you can't really smell. Maybe I will just spray it later. We'll see. Um, but maybe if you have a button, but it works. If you're living in the US, you can just go ahead and smell it in the stores. Um, but I, I really can't remember the fragrance not exactly. I don't know why it does not say it. Okay, then I have the uh, next one, which is still packed. Okay, so this is a single wick candle. Um, and it is the fresh balsam and this packaging is also available everywhere and I feel like it is just on point it is just a classic classic packaging with a Christmas tree and a green and red gold I love that and the fragrance notes of this one are woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus fear branches set wood with natural essential oils and I will smell that right now oh yeah it just it just smells like a Christmas tree and that's be why I got it because we won't have an um, live Christmas tree we will have a, um, a fake Christmas tree so I thought I would light this candle so that I still have that Christmas tree smell in here okay and then it's already the last thing we are having a three-way candle Storage from that one. <laughs> yeah, just so expensive. Okay, it is the perfect Christmas. Um, yeah, I love the packaging, like the red and gold. It's just, yeah, just so classic. It is available as well. And I read a lot of reviews saying that this is really smelling like the perfect Christmas. So I'm excited. So the fragrance notes of this one is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow with natural essential oils. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, that is really, really good. That smells. It smells like the perfect Christmas. This is how you want to let uh, have your house smell like in Christmas time, in my opinion. So yeah, that is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really, um, yeah, you can really smell like the the sugary part, but also the pine part. I would recommend this one, and I would recommend the uh, fresh balsam and. I feel like I will give this a little spray. I've never had a room spray, to be honest. Um, I feel like just do like one spray. I don't know if you shake it. Okay, let me know if I'm doing that wrong. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> let me. I can smell in that scent. It really smells like cinnamon. It really smells like fresh baked cookies and like. I really feel like I can smell kind of like the milk factor of it. I don't know. Yeah, it, it now starts coming over a little bit. Um, yeah, it is. It smells. It smells really good. Like it makes your house smell like fresh baked goodness. So yeah, I would recommend that as well. And like those soaps, they're really fresh. If you like more the the I don't know sugary sweeter notes, um, then those are maybe not for you, but if you like this really fresh smell in your uh, on your hand soap, then this is for you as well. I feel like it smells really good, and for me it's weird because I don't like, I wouldn't like this one in my hands. I think that's just not what I prefer. So yeah, that's the Bath Body Works haul.
Okay, so we are at the end of the video, at least the end of part one of my Christmas cleaner decorate. There will be part two next week. I feel like next Thursday there will be part two available. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button and put your notifications on so that you don't miss out. I still have a lot of decorating in front of me, like all of the upstairs part and the kitchen. I will do a hot cocoa bar in the kitchen, so this will be fun as well. And I also plan to decorate in front of the door, so really make sure to put your notifications on so that you don't miss out all of this cleaning and decorating motivation and inspiration. Have a beautiful start to the season, to the new season, to the holiday season, and I would love to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!